Hey there, pals. It's your buddy, FitBuzz. I'm super pumped to start our new and exciting adventure called Nutritional Showdown. Think of this series as a fun food detective game. We're going to zoom into different food groups, give them a score, and figure out which ones are real champs for our health. Today, we're putting the spotlight on meat. Now, meat isn't just something tasty to eat. For many of us, it's like the superstar on our plate. Why, you ask? Well, meat is packed with something called protein, and we all need protein to grow strong and healthy. The awesome thing about the protein in meat is that it's complete. That means it has all the essential building blocks, called amino acids, that our bodies crave. In today's episode, our mission is to look at different types of meat, see what goodies they offer in a 100-gram serving, and also check if there's anything we should be cautious about. But here's the challenging part. Scoring meat isn't as simple as saying one's best and another's not. You see, we all have our reasons to pick our favorite meat. Maybe you're aiming to drop some pounds, or perhaps you're on a quest to build big muscles. Or maybe you just want to feel energetic and lively. So, while I've been like a food detective trying to be super fair in my rankings, looking at how much protein each meat has and what other health treasures it holds, remember, this is just one way to see things. It's like looking at the world through my FitBuzz glasses. And hey, if I throw out some fancy-sounding words that confuse you a bit, don't sweat it. I've got another cool video that breaks them all down so you'll be a food detective in no time. Stay curious, my friends. Okay, ready to dive into the meaty details? Let's go. First on our list is everyone's breakfast favorite, bacon. Bacon is like the triple threat of the meat world. It's high in calories, protein, and fat. It also gives you some awesome vitamins and minerals. The reason bacon's packed with so much goodness, it's because it's dehydrated. Bacon has a lot of fat, especially the good kind called monounsaturated fat. This kind of fat helps in a lot of ways like improving your heart's health and making your body more sensitive to insulin. That's a good thing. Bacon is also rich in selenium, an antioxidant, and phosphorus, which helps your cells grow. But here's where it gets tricky. Bacon has saturated fat and there's been a lot of back and forth on whether it's good or bad for your heart. Recent research suggests it's not all bad. It's all about the type of saturated fat, and bacon has a mix. Some of these fats can be okay for your heart in moderation, while others might not be so great. Another concern with bacon is its high sodium, or salt, content. Too much sodium might increase your risk for certain health problems like high blood pressure. Also, bacon sometimes contains things like nitrates, which, when cooked at high temperatures, can become harmful. But wait, there's good news. Manufacturers have started adding things like vitamin C to help reduce those harmful effects. Here's the final verdict on bacon. It's got some great stuff, but it's also got some things to watch out for. Different brands of bacon might have different health ratings, so always check the label. With everything in mind, I'm going to place bacon in the middle, giving it a C rating. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. By the way, if you're enjoying this showdown and finding it useful, please subscribe. Let's continue the journey into the exciting realm of meats by looking at ground beef. Picture this. Ground beef is like a superhero of foods because it comes packed with muscle-building proteins, essential fats, and a treasure trove of vitamins and minerals. Now, if we think of our bodies as cars, just like cars need fuel, our bodies crave certain nutrients to run smoothly. One of these essential nutrients is zinc, which acts as a mechanic for our body, helping to make new cells. Another superstar is vitamin B12, which plays a significant role in keeping our blood healthy and supporting our nervous system. Besides these, ground beef offers a type of iron that our body loves, making it easier to transport oxygen everywhere, ensuring we don't tire out too quickly. Ground beef isn't just about proteins and minerals. 
It's also a source of energy boosters like carnosine and creatine. These components might help you shake off that afternoon fatigue and energize your muscles. Yes, beef can be fatty, but here's a fun fact. A lot of that fat is oleic acid, a good fat that can be kind to our hearts. And when choosing beef, you might hear terms like grass-fed or grain-fed. Always remember, grass-fed beef is like the gold standard, offering richer nutrients and healthier fats. Now let's switch gears and talk about bison, which is often considered beef's healthier relative. Imagine if beef had a cousin who went to the gym regularly and followed a strict diet. That's bison for you. While bison shares many nutritional benefits with beef, it has its own set of unique attributes that make it special. For one, bison tends to be leaner, meaning it has less fat but doesn't skimp on the protein. This makes it a great option for those who love the taste of red meat but are also health conscious. Another amazing thing about bison is that it's usually grass-fed. Grass-fed meats generally contain more omega-3 fatty acids, which are known for their heart health benefits. Let's take a deeper dive into bison's nutritional profile. To appreciate bison even more, let's delve deeper into its nutritional goodness. Bison is abundant in selenium, a mineral that safeguards our cells and aids in DNA formation. This means that eating bison can help protect our cells from damage. Furthermore, like beef, bison is also a fantastic source of zinc, which can boost our immune system, helping us fight off colds and other illnesses. This incredible meat also offers a variety of B vitamins, these are like tiny chargers for our body, supplying energy and assisting in the creation of red blood cells. Bison also brings along creatine, which is a burst of energy for our muscles, making activities feel less tiring. And if that wasn't enough, bison has choline, which is essential for our brain and memory. To sum it up, both beef and bison have a place at our table. But knowing their nutritional profiles can help us make informed choices about our meals. Moving on, let's chat about pork bratwurst. Bratwursts are kind of like those special treats you might have at a barbecue. They're high in calories, low in protein, and pretty fatty. While they do offer some good stuff like selenium, which acts as a shield for our cells, the fat in them can be a mixed bag. Oleic acid is the main fat here which is good for us, but there are others that might not be as helpful, especially if eaten a lot. Plus, bratwurst can be salty, and too much salt isn't great for our heart or blood pressure. And let's not forget, they sometimes come with preservatives, which isn't the best. Think of bratwurst like those sugary cereals, okay as an occasional treat, but not what you'd want every day. Now, there's a lot of talk about red meats like beef and bison and if they can cause health problems. Some think it's because of certain things that form when we cook them at high heat. While there isn't a clear answer yet, it's good to stay informed and watch out for new research. In the meat rating world, I'd put ground beef and bison both in the A tier, meaning they're great choices for many. Bratwurst, though, I'd place in the D tier. It's not the worst but there are better meat options out there. Remember, variety and balance are keys in our diets. Let's talk about chicken breast, a superstar when it comes to lean meats. It's low in calories, high in protein, and not too fatty. Now think of your body as a car. The better the fuel you put in, the better it runs. Chicken breast is like premium fuel. It's loaded with B vitamins, especially B3 and B6. Vitamin B3 helps our metabolism and nervous system, while B6 is a big supporter of both our brain and overall body energy. On top of that, chicken breast has carnosine, which might make you feel less tired and boost your muscle performance. And guess what? Chicken breast is generally heart-friendly. But remember, not all chicken breasts are the same. While grilled and baked are great choices, Fried or rotisserie versions might have some added stuff we need to be cautious of, like extra sodium or certain cooking oils. Still, 
With its high protein content and how easy it is to add to our meals, chicken breast is definitely a top pick. Switching gears, let's chat about chicken thighs. They're a bit different from the breast. They have more calories, less protein, but more fat. But here's the cool part. Chicken thighs are packed with nutrients. They have more zinc, which is super for making new cells in our bodies. And they're still a good source of those B vitamins, especially B3. If you eat the skin, which many of us do with thighs, you're getting glycine, an amino acid that supports our brain. The main difference is in the fats. Thighs have oleic acid, which can be good for our heart and brain, but they also have some fats that we should watch out for. To sum it up, chicken thighs are still a great choice, offering a different set of benefits from the breast. Imagine you're at a sports event and there's this one athlete that stands out lean, energetic, and super efficient. In the grand seafood arena, Atlantic Cod is that standout player. Not too heavy on calories, but packing a good amount of protein, it's like the perfect balance for those who want to eat healthy. It's Shining Star, a mineral named selenium. Think of selenium as a brave knight that guards our cells, ensuring they're protected and strong. And wait, there's more. Ever felt tired after a long day? Cod has something cool called creatine, which is like a tiny power-up for our muscles, helping them stay charged. Now, if you've heard grandparents or maybe even your parents talk about cod liver oil and its benefits, they weren't joking. It's like a tiny bottle of wonders. Loaded with vitamins A and D, it's perfect for keeping our skin glowing and bones strong. And let's not forget the omega-3 fatty acids, these are the superheroes that keep our heart beating happily and our brain thinking sharp. But like all athletes, even the Atlantic cod has its challenges. While it's a great source of nutrients, it doesn't have as much protein or those fantastic omega-3s as some of its fishy competitors. Think of it like choosing between two good shoes. One might just have a little more cushion than the other. However, when we stack it up against meats, cod still scores pretty well. Speaking of meat, have you heard of bison? Just a quick side note. Bison is kind of like beef, but even cooler. It's lean, packed with protein, and often grass-fed, which means it's bursting with nutrients. From iron to zinc, and those B vitamins we need for energy, bison could be a meaty alternative worth diving into. Let's continue on a fun seafood journey and meet the Dungeness Crab, the ocean's version of a magical treasure box. Bursting with good stuff, this crab is the go-to when we're talking about vitamin B12. Imagine B12 as a superhero that's always looking after our blood and nerves, ensuring they're on their A-game. Feeling a little under the weather or want to give your immune system a little pep talk? Look no further. Crab brings a powerful team of selenium and zinc to the table. Think of these two as the dynamic duo that guards our health against any invaders, making sure we're feeling strong and well. And the wonders don't stop there. Our heart has some best friends in the nutrition world, and one of its top buddies is the omega-3s found in crabs. These are special fats that make our heart dance with joy, keeping it healthy and happy. Now, every treasure has its mysteries, and the Dungeness Crab is no exception. Dive deeper into its nutritional profile, and you'll find it's a bit on the salty side. Imagine eating a handful of salted popcorn, delicious, but you'd need a drink to balance it out, right? Similarly, when feasting on this tasty crab, it's a smart move to pair it with some foods that are lower in salt, maybe some fresh veggies or a light salad. By doing so, you're making sure you get all the fantastic nutrients without overdoing the salt. When you look at the big picture, with its fabulous mix of vitamins, minerals, and the omega-3s, the Dungeness Crab surely deserves a shining star in the Nutritional Hall of Fame. Let's chat about domestic duck. Picture it as that mid-level runner in a marathon. It has a medium calorie and protein count, but is a bit on the chunky side. Now, fat isn't all bad. Duck's main fat, oleic acid, is actually a good guy. 
It's known to decrease the bad cholesterol, LDL. But duck also contains palmitic acid, which in large amounts can dampen our mood and zap our energy. On the brighter side, duck is great for our bones and heart, thanks to the mix of micronutrients it offers. But let's be honest, while duck's good, there are meats out there that might just outshine it in certain departments. Now, eggs might not be meat, but they're just too awesome to leave out. Think of eggs as that super versatile friend who's good at everything. They're brimming with almost every nutrient except vitamin C. Need an antioxidant? Eggs have selenium. Want to care for your eyes? Eggs come packed with vitamin A. They even support our brain and muscles with components like choline and creatine. Now, while eggs are fatty, it's mostly the good kind like oleic acid. And guess what? Even though they're loaded with cholesterol, they can boost our good cholesterol levels, HDL. Plus, they fill you up nicely, which makes them a breakfast superstar. All right, folks, let's talk about goat meat. Now, if you think about a gym class, imagine goat meat as that super fit, lean coach everyone admires. What makes it special? Well, it's kind of like a health-conscious athlete's dream. It doesn't pack a lot of calories or fats, but it sure is strong when it comes to proteins. In fact, when you're munching on goat meat, you're taking in something that's superbly nutritious. Let's delve into that. So, among the nutrients that goat meat brags about are the B vitamins. These vitamins, especially B12, are like the unsung heroes in our body. They ensure our cells function right, keeping us energized and on our toes. Speaking of energy, there's something else goat meat offers, heme iron. This isn't just any iron. It's a special kind that helps carry oxygen all around our body. Imagine it as the delivery van, ensuring all parts of our body get the oxygen they need. But like all things, there's a small catch. If you're cooking goat meat on a super high flame, it might let out chemicals that aren't the best for us. However, considering everything, Goat meat is like that reliable friend with mostly great qualities and just a teeny tiny quirk. So next time you see it on a menu, you'll know it's a dish full of health benefits. Last on our list is lunch meat ham. Imagine it as that slightly indulgent snack you can't resist. It's lower in calories and protein, but a bit fatty. Ham is a decent source of selenium and vitamin B1, supporting our skin and nervous system. It also stands out with manganese, which helps in bone formation. But there's a twist. Ham often contains more salt, sodium, which in large amounts isn't the best for our blood pressure. And how it's prepared with curing and smoking might add some health concerns. While ham brings certain benefits to the table, it also carries some baggage. We need to weigh its pros and cons before diving in. Hot dogs. The guilty pleasure. You know, I love a good ballpark hot dog as much as the next person, but let's be real about what's inside. Hot dogs are pretty much the candy of the meat world. They've got a lot of calories, are super fatty, and aren't all that strong on the protein side. But hey, they've got some goodies too. Hot dogs give us a dose of selenium, which helps our body fight off harmful stuff. They also have vitamin B12, which keeps our blood and nerves healthy. But back to the not-so-great news. These guys are packed with fats, even more than their protein content. The main fat in them is good for us, but the others, not so much. Eating too many hot dogs might also lead to some health issues, especially with their high salt content. And let's not even start on the toppings and buns, which are usually sugary. So, where do hot dogs stand in our food class? Sorry, pals. They get a thumbs down and sit in the F tier. The red meat royalty. Lamb is like that stylish friend who's a bit fancy. It's got a rich taste and is high in calories and fat, but it also boasts good protein. It's jam-packed with nutrients like vitamin B12, which helps make new blood cells and selenium that acts as a bodyguard against harmful things. It also offers creatine, which gives our muscles an energy boost. And guess what? Lamb has something called conjugated linoleic acid that can help us lose fat. 
However, while lamb has all these fabulous qualities, it's also a tad fatty. It has a mix of fats, some good and some not so great. Despite its charm, it's probably not the meat you want to eat every day. So where do we rank our sophisticated friend? Let's seat lamb in the B tier, meaning it's pretty good, but maybe not an everyday choice. Okay, now on to something that might not sound tasty, but is an absolute nutrition superstar. Beef liver. Imagine a food that's like taking a vitamin pill, but it's natural. Liver is super low in calories and fat, but it's a rock star in the protein department. It's bursting with vitamin B12 and is a top player when it comes to copper, which helps our body use iron. Oh, and speaking of iron, liver's got plenty of that too, which our blood loves. Despite its health punch, liver does have its downsides. Although it's the organ that filters out bad stuff from our body, it doesn't store toxins. But eat too much, and you might get more vitamin A and copper than you'd want, leading to some health issues. However, considering how nutritious it is, I'd give liver a top-tier spot, with a small note to enjoy it in moderation. Let's chat about mutton. Mutton is like the wise elder of the red meat family. It's rich in calories and fat, but it's also loaded with protein. This meat isn't just filling. It's also a health booster. It's packed with vitamin B12, selenium, and iron, making it a great choice for our body. Not just that, mutton gives our muscles an energy jolt with its creatin content and has antioxidants that protect our cells. However, like all red meats, mutton does have its challenges. It's fatty, with a mix of fats that are both good and bad. And some studies suggest that eating a lot of red meat might not be great for our heart. But looking purely at nutrition, mutton is a star player. It deserves a top-tier spot in our meat ranking. All right, so pepperoni is kind of like that snack we all love on our pizza, right? But let's break down what's actually in it. It's got a lot of calories, a decent amount of protein, and a whole bunch of fat. But hey, it's not all bad. It's got some selenium, which helps protect our body from harm, and manganese that's good for our bones and other important stuff. Now here's the tricky part. For all the good, there's some stuff we gotta watch out for. There's more fat in pepperoni than protein. And sodium? Yep, tons of that too, which might make our blood pressure rise if we eat too much. Oh, and those things called nitrates that help keep it fresh? Those aren't super good for us either. So, while pepperoni is tasty, it's probably better as a treat now and then. Let's call it a D-tier snack. When you think about pork, think of it like the beef's chubbier cousin. It's got lots of calories, a bunch of protein, and quite a bit of fat. But pork also comes with some cool nutrients. Vitamin B1 is in there, which keeps our skin looking fresh and our nerves working right. There's also selenium, great for protecting our cells and creatin that gives our muscles energy. But pork is pretty fatty, and there's a balance to strike when cooking it. Too hot, and it might produce some not-so-good stuff. Too low, and we risk getting sick from tiny bugs in the meat. So, it's good, but we gotta be careful. Let's say pork gets a B-tier ranking. So, pork chops are just another way we enjoy pork. They've got the same kind of nutrients, selenium, vitamin B1, and all that good muscle-boosting creatine. And just like ground pork, they've got a bit of fat. But remember, how we cook it matters. We want to make sure it's just right to enjoy all the benefits without any risks. Since pork chops are basically like ground pork, they're also chilling in the B tier. Ever thought about rabbit as a meal? It might sound odd, but rabbit meat is actually packed with goodness. It's lean, full of protein, and low on calories. Plus, it's amazing for giving us vitamin B12 and iron, both super important for our blood. Rabbit also comes with choline, good for our brain, and creatin for our muscles. And the best part? There aren't really any big downsides. That's why rabbit hops right into the top tier. Go bunny! Salami's kind of like fancy pepperoni. It's got loads of calories, some protein, and, yup, a bunch of fat. But surprise, 
It also has B vitamins, but just like pepperoni, it's pretty fatty and packed with salt. The big heads up here? Salami's got things like nitrates, and if we eat too much, it might not be great for our health. Plus, because of how it's made, it might have some unwanted extras. So, let's keep salami as an occasional snack and put it in the D tier we got salmon, and it's a superstar. It's the champ when it comes to omega-3 fatty acids, which are amazing for our heart and brain. Salmon's also a vitamin D powerhouse, awesome for our bones. With a dose of vitamin B12 and selenium, salmon is pretty much a nutrient party. It's the kind of food we want to have more of. So, let's swim it up to the top tier. Let's talk about salmon some more. You know, that delicious pink fish? First off, salmon is like a superhero for our muscles. It has this thing called creatine that helps give energy to our muscles. It's also got astaxanthin, let's call it asta for short, which is really good for our brains and keeps bad things, like inflammation, away. But just a tiny note, salmon does have a smidge of something called mercury. It's super low, so you don't really need to worry about it. All in all, salmon is one of the top fishes out there and a great choice for meals. Next up, Italian sausage. These are like the stars of many yummy dishes. But here's the thing. They're a bit on the fatty side. They have a lot of B vitamins, especially vitamin B1, which helps our skin look great and keeps our nerves happy. However, because they're fatty, they can add a lot of calories to our meals. Also, they sometimes have things like nitrates and nitrites, which aren't super great for our health. So, while Italian sausages are super tasty, maybe save them for special occasions. Let's talk about shrimp. They're small, but mighty. Shrimps are low in calories, but pack a good amount of protein. They're also rich in omega-3s, which are good fats that our body loves. And they're similar to salmon in having that asta thing, which is great for our brain. However, sometimes shrimps have these things called sulfites. It's not a big deal, but something to keep in mind. Overall, shrimp is a great choice for a healthy and tasty meal. Who doesn't love a good steak? It's juicy, tasty, and has a lot of protein. Steaks are packed with nutrients like selenium, which helps our body fight off bad stuff. They're also a good source of B vitamins and zinc, which helps our body grow and heal. However, steaks can have quite a bit of fat. Plus, when cooked at high temperatures, they might have some compounds that aren't super good for us. So, while steaks are amazing, it's good to enjoy them in moderation. Tuna's up next. Whether it's from a can or fresh, tuna is super nutritious. It's packed with selenium, vitamin D, and B vitamins. These are all great for our bones, brain, and overall health. Plus, like salmon and shrimp, tuna also gives our muscles a boost with creatine. However, there's a small catch. Tuna can have more mercury than salmon. Fresh tuna, especially, has a bit more. So, while it's good, maybe don't eat it every day. Mix it up with other fish. Gobble, gobble, turkey time. Turkey, especially the breast, is super lean and packed with protein. It has selenium and B vitamins, which are good for our body. Plus, it's known to help keep our hearts healthy. However, the more processed the turkey, the more stuff like sodium it might have. So, while turkey is super tasty and good for us, maybe opt for the natural kind when you can. Lastly, Let's talk deer meat, or venison. It's a red meat, but a healthier one. Packed with B vitamins, zinc, and iron, venison helps our body grow and transport oxygen. Plus, it's got choline and carnosine, which are great for our brain and muscles. However, venison is a bit fatty. So, while it's one of the healthier red meats, it's still good to balance it with other meat choices. You know, when it comes down to it, most natural meats are like secret health boosts for our bodies. They're not just about the mouth-watering taste. They're packed with proteins, which are like a gym workout for our muscles. Plus, they have a bunch of other cool nutrients. 
Think of them as the hidden treasure in our food that helps our brain function better, keeps our skin glowing, and generally just makes sure our body is running like a well-oiled machine. But just like with anything, it's all about balance. While these meats have so much good in them, it's always essential to pay attention to the not-so-great parts, too. I mean, who knew that something as tasty as Italian sausage could have stuff that's not super good for us? That's why it's so crucial to make informed choices. This chat's goal was to help you do just that. If you found this useful or got to learn something new, awesome. Stick around for more cool info. And here's a golden nugget to remember. It's your body. Only you can truly understand what feels right for it. So trust your instincts and eat in a way that makes you feel vibrant and alive.